What's going on Legionnaires and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. Now if you're new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button, hit that notification bell and make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out. Now I apologize, I'm a little bit late on these videos. I've been working with a new system trying to remove as much echo as I possibly can. And I think I think I finally found a spot that I'm happy with. Now I got three videos for you guys today. The first one and this video, that's going to be Hellions issue number 11. Now if you haven't been keeping up with the Hellions line, go ahead and check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It'll get you completely caught up on everything that's been going on with the Hellions line. Now this issue, it picks us up where we left off in the last, with Arcade kind of manipulating things. He manipulated Mastermind into trapping the Hellions into their own little personal nightmares, splitting the team up, fracturing them into pieces, and torturing them for his own amusement. And with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright guys, so with our opening pages, we're seeing Psylocke and Betsy, and they look... They look very aged because they've been having a 30 year long battle. They've had the same continuous routine day after day for 30 years. Now Psylocke as age took her, she fled to the desert. But no matter what, Betsy always found her. This battle continued on and she felt her last days coming to a near. And this is when she saw him. This is when she saw John. And John comes up, he looks beaten, he looks battered, he looks tired. But he lets her know that he heard her. She was calling to them, telepathically, and he heard the call. Now this call, she put out a long time ago. She called him 50 years ago. But time, it, it's so misconstrued here. Because John believes it maybe a month ago, it could have been even yesterday. He's still just, he's in utter confusion. And time is just being manipulated. So none of them know exactly how long they've been trapped inside of here. But Psylocke, she can feel something off. She knows that there is something wrong. Something that's hiding inside of this place that she can't quite see. And so they devise a plan to find the others, to find the rest of the Hellions, to get the team back together. Because she believes if, if they can get all of the Hellions back together, whatever prison that they're in, they'll be able to break out of it. Now this is where we pick back up in reality, and we have Mastermind sitting here keeping them inside this prison. Now he's been at this for a week and it's becoming even more difficult because Psylocke, she's searching. And now that John and her illusion have mixed together, it's being harder and harder for him to control it. Because if all of them come together, she may have the, the necessary power to be able to break out of this illusion. And Arcade lets him know, like, you don't have an option here. You're going to continue to hold Psylocke. You're going to continue to hold the Hellions until I tell you that you are done. Because this game doesn't end until I say it ends. And this is where we see Arcade overlooking what, what Sinister is doing right now. And Sinister, he's kind of building a clone farm. He's building the clone farm for Murder World. And so by all appearances, Arcade has got the better of everybody. He's gotten the better of Sinister. He's gotten the better of Mastermind because he has Mastermind's daughter kind of held hostage. And he's gotten the better of all the Hellions. And so at this point, he's looking almost unstoppable. Using all of this leverage to be able to make himself bigger than he is. Now that's where we pick back up with Psylocke and, and Grey Crow. And as they make their way through the land, they notice that it's getting colder. And they, they, they realize that this is a manipulation to the landscape to make them want to stop. But as they make their way through this barren land, this is when they run into Empath. And as they stop and talk to him for a brief second, it doesn't last long. Their conversation is cut short. And this is when we see the rest of the Hellions making their way, getting chased down by literally everything that Mastermind can conjure. From, from Wolverine to Iceman to Pyro, we're seeing everybody attack the Hellions. And so the Hellions together, they make their way to a peak. They make their way to some high ground. You know, Anakin Skywalker would not be happy about this situation, but our Hellions, they make their way to a defensive position. Now, this is all extremely dangerous right now. Dangerous for Mastermind, because all of the illusions have merged together at this point. And this is exactly what he feared would happen. And as all of the Hellions, as they sit here and they do battle with all of these illusions, Psylocke is doing her best to try to concentrate and find the root of the problem. And as she sits here and she concentrates, 
she finds him. She connects to him. And this is where we see Mastermind, his eyes turn pink and blast out with energy. And this is where Psylocke tells everybody to hold their ground because she's going to be right back. And our Hellions do the best they can to fight everybody off. But Psylocke, leaving behind her body, it turns into Betsy. And we see her start attacking all of the Hellions. And it appears that they may be outmatched here. But back in reality, this is where we see Psylocke. She's broken out of the illusion. And she's ready to kick some butt. And immediately, she cuts through Locke. Robotic parts start flying everywhere, and she's about to go strike down Mastermind. But this is where Mastermind, he stops her, and he says wait. And he takes control of Arcade. And he tells Psylocke to hold on, to let him explain. Now, Arcade, he, he's been in communications with somebody else where they're keeping Mastermind's daughter. And he's been instructed to kill the daughter if Arcade doesn't check in correctly. But Mastermind, he talks to this guy, lets him know, like, you don't want to kill my daughter. Because if you do that, I'm going to find you. And if I find you, you're going to wish that Arcade never made you a murderer. And he's like, you know, I'm giving you opportunity. Walk away from it right now. Leave my daughter alone and we can call it a day. I won't have any grudge against you and I will let you live. Now this is when Mastermind goes back over to Psylocke and Psylocke, she's ready to chop his head off, but he tells her to wait because all of this needed to happen. They needed plausible deniability. And this is when we see Sinister come into the room. And Psylocke confused, she's just like, you know, what's going on? What, what is happening right now? And Sinister goes in to explain that Arcade kidnapped Mastermind's daughter to, to make him more, to make more clones for Murder World. But when Jason made his move, Sinister made a counter offer. Make it look like this Sinister was imprisoned. Just long enough to design a, a cloning operation under his exact specifications. And so he has everything he wants at this point and he'll be in Bar Sinister with his feet up, the council will know none the wiser, while Arcade shivvies away on, it, on his very special project. And so Psylocke, you know, she's confused. You know, why involve the Hellions if you were going to do all of this? And it's simply put, they needed, they needed witnesses. But with Mastermind's help, witnesses nonetheless. The Hellions will return, bousting of their liberation of, of their tortured leader from Arcade. Now this plan, it almost got Mastermind's daughter killed, but that was a risk he was willing to take. A calculated risk, he says, but a risk nonetheless. And, and that's, that's really all this was about. This was all Sinister's plan to manipulate the situation, to make it work in his benefit. And so in about a month, when the facility has finished baking, he's going to have quite a surprise for everyone. Now at first, she doesn't believe anybody's going to believe her. Believe them. Not with Mastermind there, but if Psylocke does vouch for this situation, a powerful psychic like her, then people may be prone to believe this. And the way they get Psylocke to play along is because Sinister has had leverage over her head for quite some time now. That leverage being her daughter. And, and he's held on to this leverage, he's used it in every situation, and he lets her know that, that he is going to bring her cradle here. And that if she steps out of line, he will blow this whole place with her daughter in it. And so she is going to help Mastermind sell this story to everybody back on Krakoa. And then that's when we pick up at the, the Central Park gate. And all of the Hellions are making their way inside. As they make their way inside, they're all, all bousting about their great conquest. How everybody did their part, they did a great job, and they saved Sinister's life. Everybody, everybody in this situation is happy, and, and nobody is the wiser to what happened. Except for, except for our three, Mastermind, Psylocke, and Sinister. Now, obviously, Psylocke's not happy about this, and, and she tells Mastermind, you know, don't talk to me ever again. You look in my direction, I will cut your head clean the heck off. And him being, being the little scaredy cat he is, he just takes off. He runs off, he's like, okay, don't worry, you won't hear from me again. And Psylocke and Sinister make their way through the portal. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Personally, I I'm really thoroughly enjoying this line so far. It's been a lot of fun. The Hellions as a team are the, the worst of the worst when it comes to the band of misfits. But they, they work so well together. And Psylocke, she is such a great character, and they've done such a good job of writing her. And it's only going to be a matter of time before she stops listening to, listening to Sinister, and she takes matters into her own hands. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you have not yet, do me a favor, hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out, and until the next video.